Raise your hands if you don't have a Valentine for Valentine's Day. Hi guys! It's Megha. Hi guys, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing great. Now, it's been so long, it's been Christmas, it's been New Year's and Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So in today's video, I thought why not do a Valentine's Day makeup look. So if you guys want to see how I did my Valentine's Day makeup look, then please keep on watching. So now that the camera lens is literally on my face, let's start with the makeup. So I'm gonna start off by priming my face with my handy dandy Maybelline New York Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and apply it wherever needed. So for the foundation, I'm gonna go with my L'Oreal Paris uh, Infallible Pro Matte. Take a little on the back of my hand. Apply it on your neck area. And I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender now when you take your damp beauty blender always be careful that it is just damp and not wet because if it's wet it's just going to make a mess of your foundation Christine Dominic does this technique of applying her foundation on the ears so why not take your concealer I'm going to use my L'Oreal new true match concealer I'm in the shade light to medium and draw a triangle under your eye The coverage is really, really good. Take your damp beauty blender again and blend it all out. I'm just going to go with my MAC Studio Fix powder. It's I'm in the shade NC43. I'm going to take my fluffy brush tap the excess out and set everything now I'm going to start with my eyes and for my eyes I'm going to start off with my eyes shadow primer I really really need a new eyeshadow primer I don't know why I buy everything but a new eyeshadow primer this is so old I'm gonna apply it all over my lids now that I'm done with priming my lids, I'm going to uh, use the shade 13 from my Urban Decay Smoky palette and just use it as a base for all my other eyeshadows. Tap off the excess. Always tap off the excess or you're going to look like a clown, trust me. I'm going to uh, take this shade right here from my Morphe 35OM palette which stands for 35 orange matte according to Patrick Starr. I am trusting him. Apply that eyeshadow all over my lids. Now I'm going to take this pink color right here which is the last fifth color in the Urban Decay Naked 4 palette and apply it on only on my lids. Okay, so since I wanted it to be a little more darker and a little more pinkier, I'm going to take this shade right here from my Morphe 35OS palette, which stands for Orange Shimmer. That makes sense, Patrick Star. I never knew that. So I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm not going to take a lot of it. I'm just going to dab a little on my eyelids to make the pink more precise. I'm going to go ahead and blend the pink and the brown that we applied before so there are no harsh lines. So now that I'm done with the pink, I'm going to go uh, ahead and take this uh, black shimmer from my MAC palette. I just want the soft smoke on the outer corner of my eyes. I'm gonna take the brown shade that we used before and blend the black out so there are no harsh lines and it looks a little more softer it actually looks a lot more softer if you go with brown and blend it out so now that we've blended our eyeshadows out I'm gonna take the pink again from my Urban Decay Naked 4 palette and just going to apply it where I did before so that the black does not overtake it so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take this really pretty uh, silver shimmery color. It's so shimmery, oh my god. I'm going to apply this eyeshadow right in the middle of my eyelid to just give it a bit of spotlight. 
Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to blend it a little bit, just a little bit. So now I'm going to take this shade right here, this one. It's from my 35 OS palette and I'm going to pop that in the inner corners of my eyelid. Okay. Now I'm going to move on my uh, eyebrows. Now I'm just going to take a spoolie and just brush it out so it does not look that I have made my eyebrows. So now I'm just going to go ahead and contour my cheekbones. I'm going to use my handy dandy Maybelline Master Contour Palette. I'm almost out for the highlight. I need to buy a new highlight. Go with the 3D effect, like 3 shape on your face so that it does not look unnatural. I'm going to go ahead and take this blush from L'Oreal True Match and uh, it's in the shade 102. Now this blush is really really shimmery and I usually don't like shimmery blushes but I have no choice because I'm I'm running out of all my, all my other brushes so I'm taking this blush and just applying a little bit. Now I'm going to go with the highlight and I'm going to use the same uh, Maybelline Master Contour Palette and use the highlight it comes with. Later. Oh my god! I love highlight so much! Highlight, it, highlight on your cupid's bow, on your nose, under your brow. I'm gonna apply my mascara which is MAC Studio Scud Lash and this mascara is life. This mascara is really 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 good. Look. I always apply like two different mascaras on my eyelashes because it you it makes my eyelashes look more bomb and now I'm using these Maybelline The Fortune Smash Up Drama. I'm going to use my uh, Maybelline New York Master Casual and apply on my waterline. Coming to the lips, I'm gonna use my Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick in Posey K. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big, big thumbs up. Comment below and tell me what are your plans for Valentine's Day. Share this video and subscribe if you are new to my channel. That will help me a lot. And I'll see you guys next time, which will be really, really soon. Bye!